and my church was organizing this event they used to have for ladies who were about getting married, like a bridal shower. And towards the end of it, the host of the event came up to um, make some announcement and you know she suddenly said princesses are ladies single ladies who are 30 and above and at that point I was just a few months away from being 30 and suddenly I was face to face with the reality that I was going to be a princess and I remember turning to my friend and I said oh my god I'm going to be a princess and she was like well I'm a princess already and it was such you know that moment it was not only awkward but it brought me to a new consciousness of how society was going to start seeing me as a single lady. That single women are seen as um, and treated as third class citizens because um, the culture itself actually places such a high premium on marriage. And um, in certain cultures, women are seen as properties of men. And so when you're single, you actually don't belong to anybody. You don't belong anywhere. And so you really are um, a misfit. I felt like women were seen in terms of being someone's wife or someone's mother in the Bible. And I found that there were actually single women in the Bible who were doing fantastic things, you know, who, were, who made a whole lot of difference. Um, I found Ruth who was single at the time when, you know, the Bible uh, was talking about how she had lost her husband. There was um, Esther, there was Mary, the mother of Jesus. And then I started to realize there really is a place for single women, not just in biblical terms or uh, times, but also in our society right here and now. Interviewing other women who are single like myself was really very impactful for me because first of all, I felt like I met um, people who belong to the same clan as myself. I built a relationship and also I got really inspired by their lives because these are single women in their 30s, 40s and 50s who are living purposeful lives as single ladies and they are not um, they're just doing so much to be a blessing to the world around them and I was really so blessed meeting these women and interacting with them. Okay so this book covers quite a you know wide range of topics as they relate to a single woman. Um, it talks about your finances as a single woman. It talks about sex, managing your you know sexual life as a single woman. It talks about um, finding your purpose as a single woman. It talks, it talks about the options for motherhood if you think that that is something you would like to explore and um, so it's, it's quite uh, like I said quite uh, rich content. It's also very practical content that will help you navigate the entire journey as a single lady. In the book you will find a lot of exercises, you would find um, reflection questions, you will find some action steps that you can take to help you become a better and happy, happier single lady. And so um, I think it's also, it doesn't just um, educate, it also engages and it also empowers you as a single lady to become the best version of yourself. There is a place for you, you're not a misfit. Uh, God wants you to know that your identity is in Him. God wants you to know that you can live your best life now. You don't have to put it off until later. And God wants you to know that you are more than your marital status. You can be everything He created you to be right here and right now.